Hello, um, hey, I'm gonna walk you through real quick here how to uh, adjust the uh, air governor on the M35A2. Um, this is largely the same on all the military trucks that use an air governor like this. Um, this particular one is an old one. My truck's a 68. Um, the new style is different. So right off the bat, if um, you have the newer style, which I have one of as a spare, which looks like that. I've gone out of the place, just the wrong guy. And so this is what the new style looks like, as you can see there, and which is probably what you get if you order one online, and you can get them for like 20 bucks or so. Um, this one is the old style, and so basically, if you're looking for the tech manuals, the new one is this TM9 2320 but the old style, go to uh, TM9 2320-209-20-3-2. And basically what the procedure says to do is adjust it um, to get uh, 100 to 105 PSI um, as it cycles. Now mine was running about 80 PSI and it's been that way for years. Um, and I never took time out to adjust it. Um, but I wanted to bump it up a bit. Uh, just to see how much better the brakes behaved and that sort of thing. So anyway, the short version is if you have this old style, um, what you do is loosen this big lock nut, right? There's a one and an eighth inch lock nut. And then you've got this 13 16 outer nut. And so basically you loosen that lock nut and then adjust this inner nut to get the right pressure. If you go up, Right, if you turn this up or clockwise, um, or excuse me, counterclockwise as you look at it, you know, from this side. Um, anyway, up increases pressure, um, rotating it down decreases pressure, and then you use a one and an eighth inch wrench, right, on the lock nut. And then I used a deep well socket um, to hold the adjustment nut in place. Um, while I was doing that to hold it in place and if you just go back and forth and let the compressor go through a few cycles of cycle up cycle down and um, either blow the horn or if you've got an air release valve like I do um, for the to drain the tanks you know just purge off the tanks and then uh, let it you know cycle a few times and verify um, uh, what pressure you're seeing so One of the things I've done is add um, this McMaster car um, gauge just to have a nice big gauge and uh, call it an anything, a regulator with a uh, air uh, valve that fits either of the popular um, fittings and that sort of thing just in case I'm in a pinch. Um, and right now I've got mine turned on. My valve here leaks just a tiny bit. Um, but you can see there's, you know, like... 75 or so PSI still in the tanks uh, from when I started it last, you know, a few minutes ago. So I'll go ahead and start it. Very, very slowly. But there basically that's it. That's how it does very
their governor. Um, Tech manual in the old one says to adjust it to 105 or 100 to 105, um, and that's generally consistent with the new one too. So um, you set it there. That's a good 